Hey there, webmasters. I'm Christian and welcome to Rackner TV. In our recent video, we discussed how to set up a website backup with a Docker commands powered approach with steps consisting of backing up your website data along with your database. But it's smart to have regular backups without manual intervention. So in today's video, we will go over how to automate that process with a simple script that I will show you how to create quickly for free. So by the end of this video, you will have a foolproof system in place to safeguard your website data without breaking a sweat. And before I forget, be sure that you already have Docker installed on a new Ubuntu VPS along with your website setup if you want to follow along with this tutorial. If you haven't already, no worries, just check out our most recent tutorials about Docker, which I will link in the description down below in this video so that you can check them out. And I'll even post how to order a VPS with us here at Racknerd so that you can get everything at one place. So let's dive in and learn how to set up automated website backups with Docker like a pro. All right, so before we jump into the technical details, let's quickly talk about why automated backups are a must. Accidents happen, servers crash, and websites face security threats. Having automated backups ensures that even if the unthinkable happens, you're covered. There are many ways to do this, to be honest with you, but with our simple tutorial, I can guarantee that this process will be nothing but fun and painless, especially for beginners. So let me go ahead and share my screen here and let's get started with the tutorial. Okay, I'm already logged into my server here, and now let's create a bash script in the etc forward slash cron dot daily directory by running this command. It will create and open up a file for us in which we can manage using the nano editor. Now open your local machines text editor. I recommend using notepad plus plus, then download and extract this code into your editor. We will need to replace a couple of values inside of this file, but before we do, let's first exit the auto underscore bak.sh file by typing control plus x to exit for now. We will get back into this later. So based on our recent tutorials, we have stored our website's root directory within the path of forward slash opt forward slash WordPress. So if you're following along, you don't have to change these except for the db underscore name and db underscore root underscore password which you can find the values in your .env file. Just run the following command to pull it up. But make sure that you're running it within your website root directory, which means in my case within slash opt slash WordPress. Once you're done providing the right values in the script template, copy and paste it over to the server by running this command. Just right click or press control plus V on your keyboard to paste it and then save the file by pressing control plus X and then Y when prompted to confirm. The script will back up your website files or WordPress files along with the database and will store the backups within our chosen backup directory and has a seven day retention before it will delete automatically. But you're free to modify the value of the days underscore two underscore keep, which is set to seven days by default. Now let's make the script executable by running this command. And that's it. That's how you can set up automatic backups for your website with Docker using cron jobs, which will run on a daily basis. But wait, I know what you're thinking. If you want to confirm if the script works, here's exactly how you can do that. Simply copy the script we just made basically anywhere you want. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'll copy it into my home directory by running this command. We can list to check the file if it has been copied successfully by running the ls command. Now let's go ahead and test by executing this bash script with this command. So as you can see here, we have successfully created a backup with the same name and we can verify that by checking our backup directory by running this command, and there you have it. Here are the backups that we just did right now. You can also manually run this script if you want to, but the one we set up within the cron job will run automatically every single day. But you can disable it by deleting the file within this command. But don't run it just yet anyway. Make sure that you back up the file by running this command. This command will copy the file inside your backup directory at forward slash root forward slash backup, which you can check by running this command here. So congratulations, you have just automated your website backups with Docker. With this simple script, your valuable data is completely protected effortlessly. 
Remember, a little automation goes a long way in maintaining a reliable online presence. And by the way, if you want to learn more about Docker, website management, and cutting edge hosting solutions, subscribe to this channel and head on over to RackNerd.com. At RackNerd, you're not only getting the benefit of our powerful network infrastructure, but you're also getting the best support with top-notch customer service. So don't hesitate to get in touch with us 24-7 and let's talk soon.